Hello my little sugar boogers, welcome back to the channel for yet another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Black Widow Challenge. So in the previous part, one of my biggest questions to you guys was, should we continue to pursue Mr. Connolly, I believe is his name, and surprisingly, a lot of you were down for that drama. But unfortunately, Connolly in this part won't be the man of focus. In fact, it's actually going to be two different guys. First and foremost, we are actually on the phone right now with Mr. Benjamin. Benjamin, the poor innocent soul, uh, has actually mustered up a little bit of liquid courage, I guess. Yeah, it's it's, it's definitely five o'clock somewhere, right? Who the hell is this? Oh, baby. Hey. <laughs> anyway, he called he called Angie and was like, um, oh, are you taking out the garbage? I mean, this is so freaking awkward. Why is he sad? He is like literally sad right now. Do you guys see this? What is his problem? He's like not even talking to us. He is giving us the freaking cold shoulder right now. Totally keeping strictly to business. But uh, yeah, Ben, ben Benji, whatever his name is, um, wants to actually go out tonight and that has got a that's got Angie feeling a little little hot and bothered if you know what I mean he is definitely a little younger than she is um my younger I mean a lot speaking of not being able to keep anything in, in our lives um well that was our uh that was our cow plant and uh now we have a cow plant skeleton which i think is actually very fitting even though it's really sad well we're just gonna leave it back there because i mean it makes sense to have our our uh, graveyard full of bones um but i really do kind of feel bad i didn't realize that he or she would die so quickly without cake um i really do want to try again and get another but we'll have to see how that goes speaking of Connolly, we are actually just about to have angie go ahead and um she was gonna go to the spa and treat herself to a little mud bath, a nice little massage, you know, rub between the shoulders, but of course she hears her doorbell. So naturally she's gonna put down the, the plate of uh, taco casserole and she's gonna go in. <laughs> she's gonna go into the door for another type of taco casserole. If you get what I'm saying. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> Smiley face emoji, sure. Um, but I don't know what he is doing. He's just... um. He's like, hey, I, I wanted to talk about last night, and of course, there's not much to talk about. Angie didn't leave any room for words. She immediately jumped on his ish, and he was like, I thought, hey, did you get my text message? And she's like, no, no, I didn't. He was like, um, I was trying to let you know that we should probably cool things down. Um, it just doesn't look good. You know, with, with the ongoing search for Naomi and, and, and Jasper, people might end up thinking that we have something going on. And she's like, yeah, she's like, Connelly, you're ridiculous. She's like, you know what? Let, if you're so worried about it, let's, let's come inside. So, uh, she's feeling very flirty and, 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 and she's trying to let him know, like you, so you didn't like, I mean, you don't like me like that? And he's like, I do. I do like you like that. I just don't think that us having this kind of connection while there's an, an, an ongoing investigation for our spouse is a very, a very smart, smart choice. You now, now, Angel is starting to feel a little rejected. And when she feels rejected like that, I mean, let's be realistic. Nobody turns down. Angelica, Abana, nobody. And of course, once she's got her lure into him, she's going to go ahead and embrace him a little bit. I, I am, I'm going to have her go ahead and, uh, you know, I'm going to have her go ahead and take it there for sure. Um, we're going to go and whisper seductively. And basically what we're telling him is what nobody can see, nobody knows right? I mean, literally, right? Because like, that's pretty much what her whole motto in life is about. <laughs> you want me to handcuff you to the bed? No, I'm just kidding. We're not into that stuff. But hey, <laughs> if we were, no, I'm just serious. Though. Like, do you want me to? No, I'm just kidding. I, th I feel like, I feel like she's an interesting, interesting lady of sorts. Um, But yeah, I'm going to actually kind of lure him up to the bedroom. Inch by inch, step by step, we are getting closer to where she wants to um, wants to, wants to take him, and I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm, where did he go, oh my god, no, this is seriously starting to get really, really bad, he's like, I should, I, I should, I shine my shoes for this, <laughs> where the hell did he go, oh my god, I don't know where he is, <gasps> did he leave, he left me, oh, oh my goodness, uh, this man is a hard, 
freaking cookie to crack. Seriously, you guys, did he disappear or am I just blind? I'm not even kidding. He's got to be in here. He is in here. Okay, shoot. So freaking A, Benji is outside freaking peering through the window. He aged, didn't he? He's not young anymore. Oh, God. Is he? Oh, he's older. Oh, maybe he's not as young as I thought he was. Well, we'll have to fix that. Pretend that he's young and naive. Okay, let's just pretend. He hasn't gotten sleep in a few days. Um, but I'm really trying to, like, get with this dude. But meanwhile, you know, he's yelling and he's like, there's, there's somebody ringing at the door. So, um... I'm going to go ahead and, uh, shoot. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm, <laughs> I'm so sick and tired of people just showing up in my house right now. Okay, so I need to go down there really, really fast because the girls get home, like, in any minute. I need him to freaking leave. I really, really, really do. You know, you know, Ben, I can't wait to see you later. I'm really, really excited for our night out, but right now is just not a good time, okay? Okay. Um, I'll, I'll text you. Does that sound good? I'll, I'll let you know. Um, probably around, around six or so so why don't you go home and and get ready and and let a girl you know pamper herself in gtm okay thank you <laughs> he's like i need to get my daddy's my daddy's red corvette for this woman all right so seriously though back to the basics um i really what what does this say i don't want to watch a movie with him this ain't netflix and chill <laughs> this is netflix and get your butt upstairs because honey we got some boohooing to do um i want to try for a baby is that sick like i'm kind of wanting i'm afraid that this guy I don't know. I, I, I feel I feel like I need to entwine him into my my web. I feel like I really do need to get Connolly um, even closer to me so that I have some leverage in over his head. I feel like by us sleeping together, he would be less likely to go and run his mouth. Kind of have him in a really good position. You know what I mean? I definitely feel like this is the right step, the right place to go. So Tiffany actually met a friend at school and her name is Alexis. We should definitely, oh my God, isn't Alexis, that's, that's, that's the girl. That's, that's, wait a minute. Yeah, that's the little girl that we met yesterday. Isn't that her? Yeah, it is. Oh, well, that's cute. I mean, seriously, at least they're kind of like becoming friends, right? Even though <laughs> your mother killed her mother, but that's a little gross. Um, I don't know how the hell we're going to explain, though, Alexis's daddy in <laughs> Angel's in Angel's bed. Um, now, now, of course, you know, we have we have uh, Roxana here and and she she doesn't hear her mom or anything. So she wants to let her know that she's home. But we're not going to we're not going to do anything weird. We're not going to have like a walk in on her. But poor Alexis. She's so freaking cute. I love this little girl so much. But I'm kind of scared that she's going to come into the room and meet daddy. Um, oh, OK. So she actually went to go. I think she's going to go play in Tiffany's room. And then, of course, Connolly. Um, I don't know what the hell he's doing. I think he's actually going to talk to his daughter. I mean, this is just weird what they're doing right now, but that's totally fine. Um, I don't feel like I'm going to, um, I don't feel like I'm going, I should take a pregnancy test, but in case I am pregnant, like I really don't want to ruin that tonight with Benji. So I'm going to come into the bathroom. I'm probably going to go downstairs. Um, you know, nobody is really going to think of anything if Connelly is over here. Um, to be honest, uh, Roxana might have a couple questions because she's old enough to realize, like, you know, like, why would you feel me? So I'm actually going to have her come over here really quick and she is going to follow her mom and she is going to kind of ask her why exactly is Alexis's dad, why is Connolly here? And, um, you know, that's kind of suspicious to her. It's a little weird and she's just kind of wondering and... And, of course, you know, Naomi is like, well, she, you know, he's just coming to talk to see if I've heard anything um, about, you know, Jasper's disappearance because he's kind of going through the same thing right now. And and Roxana says, isn't that a little coincidental, Mom, that they're both kind of disappeared at the same time? And uh, and she's like, yeah, I never really thought of it that way. You're kind of right. You're a real smart cookie. You know that? Here, grab a potato. <laughs> like, of course, she's not going to sit here and, uh, and pay very much attention to what her daughter's saying. Because if, you know, she kind of entertains this idea any longer, we might end up having a problem. So let me go see how old Angel's getting. Um, she is, ooh, she's going to age up in eight days. We definitely need to work on getting some of our things done to uh, get that serum, the age serum. That's going to really help us propel in this challenge so of course alexis is here and she's grabbing herself a delicious potato um we're gonna see uh, we're, gonna, we're just gonna you know joke about bananas do a little light-hearted discussion and brighten his day a little bit 
I'm also going to go and discuss some interest with her. Just see if, you know, daddy has been, you know, talking to the police or telling her any stories. And, of course, Roxana is just like, you know, I think Roxana thinks and, and knows some things. Um, and I feel like she's definitely going to be the brains behind the outfit. If, if, if ever uh, she turns on her mom, I, I think that would be a very scary thing to see. I don't know if she would, but uh, I think Angel realizes that she definitely has a very curious curious daughter on her hands and one of which was very close to her father or not really her biological father but but Jasper she considered him one and um you know with that she she has a lot of questions and if she's not gonna get them from Angie she's probably going to be a curious teenager and get them somewhere else correct so um, I don't really don't know. I don't know. I, I think I think Angel's going to start kind of trying to be very close to her daughters. Ex see, look at like look at their relationship. Not very. I mean, she's actually closer to Tiffany, believe it or not, than she is to Roxanne, and that's exactly why. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen. To be real with you, it's kind of um a very this part of the story is still very much undeveloped. But uh, we oh we gotta go. We gotta go see Benji. I need to text him to let him know that I was just making the girls dinner. I'm running a little late. Definitely don't want to keep him waiting. Let's go ahead and send him a quick little text. Let him know that I'm, I'm coming. I'm also going to send him a little flirty text to see if he, uh, you know, prompts any sort of invite to go anywhere. I think that would be kind of cool. I've been not getting those lately. Um, oh, okay. I see you're in a good mood. <laughs> yeah, booty call. <gasps> Maybe we should go out and grab a drink. Oh, the old quarter end. Let's go. So that's where Benji decided to take us tonight. Now I have a plan up my sleeve, like I said. I'm keeping this one under wraps. Shh. I don't know if we'll get to it, but I hope that we will because we need to uh, we need to make some progress in this LP. So here we are with Mr. Benjamin Button. Um, I'm going to go over here and, and uh, try to seduce this boy a little bit, give him a sexy pose, and he's just feeling all sorts of, how do you say, He's feeling all sorts of lucky tonight. He feels blessed to have this, you know, hot, sexy mamacita on his side. Now, he's always been kept at a distance from Angel's affairs. I mean, like I said, he's young and naive, and he really doesn't, um, he really doesn't, uh, you know, put A and B together at all. <laughs> Not very much anyways. So let's see if we can, I wonder if we can actually woohoo with him. Um, I don't know if that's a possibility yet because we really don't have that much of a, oh, we do. Okay, so let me go ahead. We're going to go woohoo in the closet really quick. I mean, how many Sims can we physically woohoo with in a day? I don't know. Um, I don't know if we're actually able to do this. Ooh, ooh, who's this? Who's this? Who's this? Ooh, Noah Kutcher. Okay, perfect. I was a little worried there that that was somebody kind of important. So we're woohooing with Mr. Benjamin in the, uh, inside the, <laughs> ooh, okay. Everybody is watching and Mr. Brown is uh, watching us get down. This is kind of creepy that he is everywhere, isn't it? And I already heard your guys' theories about Mr. Brown guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I wanted, I think his name should be Quinn, Quinn for some reason. I really do. I think his name should be Quinn Brown. Yes, we need to change his name. I haven't done it yet because it's like been a running joke. But everybody in the mother has been staring and watching us woohoo. Oh, by the way, if you guys didn't notice, we did become a boyfriend of Ben. Um, the reason why, I will tell you a little bit later. Uh, let's see if we can get ourselves a drink. Everybody was <laughs> everybody was watching. And I think it's time for everybody to pay attention and mind their own business. Preferably, okay. Um, I want to, I really would like for this guy to like start, you know, um, where did, where did Ben go? Did Ben leave me? Did Ben, oh, did Ben dine and ditch? He did not. He would never. Oh my God, he totally freaking did. He like literally left me here. I am not even kidding. Oh, he did not. He did. He so freaking did. Oh my gosh, Noah Kutcher is trying to talk to me right now. Okay, is he? Unless he's still in the freaking closet somewhere. No, he totally freaking did. That is so annoying. Uh, I'm going to see if I can go ahead and try to invite Mr. Benjamin back over. I don't know why this happened. I wish when you were, like, with somebody, they would stay with you. Um... Okay, yeah, so for whatever reason, he accidentally got sent home, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and order ladies' night drink, order drink for 
Uh, are we a group now, Miss Miss Mr. Ben? Okay, we are. So perfect. Let's go ahead and order a drink for the group. Um, I need to hurry. Do do do. We're gonna go ahead and get the strongest thing on the lot. I'm definitely gonna get the get pro the pros and prop that's a 200 dollar freaking drink but uh why is he being flirtatious with us ew freaking noah kutcher totally just tried to put his move on us he totally did and we're like with ben right now so i'm kind of confused as to what he thinks he's trying to do i don't know that's kind of gross uh but let's see did we get a drink no we didn't i thought we ordered it already um let me go ahead and try this one more time I don't really think that our drink went through. Let's just see if this guy's gonna actually give it to us. Okay, perfect. So I think we were gonna actually be able to get our drinks this time, which is beautiful. So there, um, at least he got his and whether or not I'll get mine is probably a whole different. Did she just freaking steal my shiz? <gasps> Rude. Where the hell is my damn drink? I am so sick of this crap, seriously. Who the heck is this chick? Who's that? Kendra Stoner? Oh my God, you guys, that was Piper's ex. <gasps> Jasper Piper's ex. Well, none of these drinks are like working out for us. I'm actually about to get behind the damn bar and make some damn drinks myself. Like seriously. Okay. So I'm going to make drinks for everybody at this point and I'm just going to go ahead and serve some zebra fizzes just right on, right on the money. I am so freaking tired of waiting. Um, you know what? Forget it. I don't have time for this crap. So I know there's something I really wanted to do. And I know this is crazy. But we're going to go ahead and we are just going to definitely do something I wasn't planning on doing in this LP. And that is a rush proposal. I mean, I know Benji has always had a, you know, a little thing for me for quite a while now. And I know this sounds, you know, insane um, for us to even, you know, even take this route or, or consider something like this. But I definitely feel like this would be really, um, this would be really fun. So I'm actually proposing to him underneath a bridge, which is super duper cute and sweet. And there walks Clara. Are you freaking choking me? Oh my God, I thought that was Clara. Okay, but it's not. All right, so we actually got engaged okay i thought he totally rejected me for a second um what do you say benji we go and we get hitched yes uh i think we should because like i said i don't want to draw any attention to myself but i need a quick a quick couple coins you know what i mean so are you wondering what we're doing i think you already have the answer we're gonna kill this bastard Okay, shh. but what we need to do is we need to hurry up when we need to do this and we need to do this fast new crest has a really um, Quick little little church. We can get in and out. We can do our own vows It's like self-service a target pretty much. You know what I mean express checkout if you will <laughs> Just think of it as cutting down on employee costs really um so that's what we're going to go and do really freaking quick. And uh, I know that this is one of the absolute horrific things to do to somebody, but uh, you got to do what you got to do. So let's go ahead and get married to Benjamin Dalesen. I don't know if he has any money, but we definitely need to, um, well, we need to, like I said, get some of these marriage counts down. So let's go ahead and do that really fast. So here we are. We are officially married yet again. What a beautiful ceremony. We have just um, exchanged our vows with Benjamin. So I could actually cool off the wedding if I wanted to, but we are going to go ahead and complete it. Um, I definitely think I need to take in a, take a photo of Benji before we whack him off. Uh, let's see. We've been married one time with Jasper. This is our second marriage, but this, this marriage is probably not gonna even we're gonna literally call this like the cinderella marriage <gasps> how much money Woo! we've got enough money to give to gideon yes how much was it again Forty thousand or twenty thousand? i can't even remember can you let me know in the comments down below i can't remember how much i said um i'm pretty positive though it was forty thousand dollars and um yeah because it's 20 isn't it twenty thousand dollars ahead oh gosh okay well, and we're late, so either way, it's probably going to be forty thousand. All right, so at the very least, we have the money um, to be able to to give him. And I want to make sure that the girls are sleeping because some horrific things are about to go down. Um, where is Benjamin right this second? Okay, so he's actually in our living room right now, just watching TV, helping himself. Uh, we got fifty-six thousand simoleons, you guys. So. Um, 
Oh my god, I'm kind of excited. All right, so we are going to go upstairs, have a little ceremony, and um, I'm probably going to make him a, a quick little concoction. Sure, let's do that. So let's make out with him, you know, whatever. The girls are asleep, and, you know, he's so happy, and he's excited because it's so spontaneous, and we've never, we've never done anything like this before, you know. Whatever. I don't know. I really don't care what he has to say. He's, um... He's feeling definitely a, a very, like, very, like, flirty, and just, oh, he's so happy, and I feel really bad that, you know, we're about to do something pretty horrible to him. Actually, should I make him a drink? I kind of feel like making him something to drink. Uh, can we make, we can make, um, wine, right? Like a wine with some sort of poison in it. Um, and then uh, to finish him off, I don't know what we'll have to do, but yeah, let's go, let's go and do that really quick. So I'm going to go make him a glass of wine just to loosen up his, loosen up his, um, muscles a little bit, you know, get him relaxed because he's, you know, he's a little, he's a little hyped up. So I'm also going to make myself a drink too, because obviously I wouldn't be drinking alone. And I'm going to get myself a fine glass of the Von Hunt Estate Melanor. But every time we go to a freaking restaurant, why is this like a $40 glass of wine? It's kind of crazy. So I want to make sure I don't act. Well, maybe, maybe the poison one would be the Von Hunt Estate, right? Wouldn't it? You would think. Um, well, you would think, but it's not. So <laughs> we're just going to drink this one. And uh, Benji's going to come over here and drink this. And I want to see if maybe we can go. And what is he going to do? He's going to sit next to the pool. Oh, he's so cute. I guess we could I guess we could go sit next to him too. <gasps> Let's go. Let's go sit next to him and, and drink a drink. Uh, we definitely need to, like, take a picture of him, which we will because, you know, we just, we need this. Uh, what are you doing? Okay, so just, I guess we're, we're drinking. We're drinking a glass of wine poolside very fun. This is actually really fun to be honest with you. It's really fun. All right. So, um, now that we've got that, let's just go ahead and let him finish his drink, um, which I'm pretty sure he's just about done doing. And let's go upstairs really quick. I have to go pee. So I'm going to have her go to the bathroom, um, really, really fast. Benji is going to go upstairs and he is going to get all, you know, all sexified. Um, we're probably just going to have him go into his formal wear and, uh, you know, hopefully this poison will kick in. We'll have to go ahead and circulate his blood a little bit. And by morning, hopefully he'll be a, a croaked toad. Um, if she blended the concoction right. Now, you know, I promised. Well, I thought we would never have our hands dirty. Um, but uh, hopefully, hopefully it'll work and Benji will be dead in the morning. Because the thing is, is we can't have the girls find out about Mr. Benjamin Button. It just can't happen. So... Let's go ahead and, and woohoo with him really quick. Just super duper 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 fast. Um, I don't think that we are pregnant or anything with Connolly's baby because obviously we haven't had any pregnancy symptoms or signs. And uh, we're woohooing with him a little bit. And uh, he's feeling he's feeling okay. He's feeling good. He, and nothing actually is happening to him. So what I'm going to do really, really, really fast is I probably am just going to Go ahead and, uh, you know, boost it a little bit. Give him a little extra, you know, jump. And with that, I'm going to go ahead and finish him off. But let's go make sure that the girls don't wake up and nobody hears what's about to happen. So, shh. Just let it happen, Benji. Just let it happen. So, in a moment of sick twistedness, oh my god, of course the girls are coming to find out what happened. Can we actually go ahead and lock the door? But everyone, but, uh, oh god, no, no, no. We cannot have these girls come in here. Like, seriously, we just can't. So, hopefully, ah, they're stuck. Oh my god, they're coming in. And they've totally discovered and witnessed their mother's first crime. Well, of course, she's gonna, she's gonna... Oh my god, I don't know what the hell she's going to do. So obviously she's really upset. She's trying to play the victim. There's no police or anything that comes in here and like really stands in the way of, you know, the investigation. But she needs to turn around and tell these girls to make a promise that they will keep their freaking lips shut. Unfortunately, it's too much for them to understand. And this just kind of solidifies everything that Roxana ever freaking thought about her mother. Um, but you know, she's trying to make the girls feel bad. She's like, you know, you didn't see anything here. We can't kind of, we cannot have this kind of attention right now, especially with your, um, your, your father. 
um, your father's pending investigation. So right now we're gonna go ahead and actually put uh, this this tombstone back here, um, just for just for fun. And of course, you know, we buried him. We did whatever we needed to do. I'm actually gonna put a little dirt plot here. Oh, there's a whole bunch of cool things. What is this? This is a Grace and Piper's tombstone. So we've we've got a couple couple murders on our on our, our belt. Um, but I'm gonna just put a little a little dirt because you know, like fresh plot, or get I guess like a fresh, you know, fresh. That's like really way too big. Hold on a second here. Let's try this one. All right, there we go. So there we go. Fresh little plot of plot of land, and uh, we finally, <laughs> finally, uh, we're on to husband number two. So we actually have to have twelve. I think it is. I can't honestly remember how many um, husbands we need. I have to check the rules again. But uh, well, that kind of sped up a little bit quicker. Wasn't expecting to actually have to do this so fast, but. You know, we do need to kind of progress through the LP. So there's going to be some shotgun weddings and then there's going to be some, you know, not so, not so fast ones. You really, you just, you'll, you'll never know with this LP. So, um, with that said, uh, we're trying to, we're trying to convince Roxana to not say anything, to keep her mouth shut. Obviously Tiffany, you know, she's naive and young and, and she's not going to, um, say anything, but at the same time, you know, our biggest fear is now Roxana. I don't know what to do about that it's kind of scary um because anybody and everything that angie deems as a threat ends up disappearing i don't think that she would personally do anything to her daughter um i don't think she would she would go that far but thank goodness there's no proof of our infidelity <laughs> or our screwing around town quite literally because um we are not we're not pregnant with with benjamin or or connelly's connelly's baby so even though this part was a little dark a little eerie a little how do you say just really deep in the feels um it was a twisted one and i like it it's a little uncomfortable for me to be this dark to be honest but to be real with you i had a lot of fun doing it with that said don't forget to go and comment and subscribe let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun doesn't shine and i will see you all next time bye guys